Okay, so to give everyone an update of what's happening, we are actually going to go back into a game that we've already seen. We're going to have a rematch um, between uh, Not Safe for Work and 3Q1. The reason we are getting a rematch is because this is not the top game, this is the decider game on who qualifies for tomorrow. Ooh. So I was on 3Q1 last time, so I'll go Not for Safe for Work this time. Wait, um, hold on a moment, I just leave? Uh... Are you okay, strangers? Are you in-game? Yeah, okay. So... Not safe for work... And... Uh, 3Q1... Update, cool. Alright, let's see if I can get uh, results. So, not safe for work, <clears throat> I think, are in like, you know what, it's very difficult for me to put it this way. The organizers have told me that this is an important game, which is why we are in this important game. Apparently this is a decider for something. It, the games are going so quickly, it's almost impossible for me to check the results and the <laughs> scoreboard for everything else. So we'll, we'll just take their word for it, okay? So, uh, yeah. Amagi Fiji Gadajmada versus Enkal Flint Shiratsu. Hello there, 3Q1 is changing it up. Hmm, we have a Poi, Poi, uh, Poi here. Hmm. I wonder, is he gonna be running smoke or is he going to be trying to run torpedo reload booster? booster? What? Risky, though. I mean, the torpedoes, sure, they do 17,000. Well, the flint's got its damage. own smoke. So the flint's got its own smoke, yeah. right? Uh, Fiji Gadash man, it's a double smoke. Fiji has a hydro, Gadash doesn't. Shiratsu could smoke, but if you were gonna choose a Shiratsu, it has reasonable alpha on the guns, I'll give you that much. But surely its party trick is the torpedo reload booster. Well, that and the fact that it gets good 10 kilometer torpedoes. I mean, 17,233 damage per torp is nothing to scoff at. How's the difference in detection between the Shiratsu and Gadash Mara? What's the spotting ranges on them? I don't know, 5.9 uh, to 5.8, I think? No, so it's... Right about the same. Yeah. Uh, right. too, it's too low to to remember exactly. <laughs> kind of a tear, I stopped playing, so I started forgetting the numbers. Mm-hmm. But uh, North Cal versus Magi is going to be an interesting lineup. And in this case, nobody has auto pen against the other with HP. Like the cruiser, the flint does not auto pen Magi. All right, so uh, DDWise is close to the same spotting. Mad is definitely going to have deep work torps and he's going to have smoke. Whereas Shiratsu is possibly smoke, but just torpedo relo relo booster like double torps if not smoke, so he, you know, he can hit anything. The Fiji versus Flint, again, we've talked about this before, uh, smoke for both, but the Flint's gonna have HE, so he can possibly outplay the Flint, even though the Fiji can heal. The, the, the Flint's gonna, you know, doesn't care about the angling. What about a Maggie versus Enkal? A story that goes back to the release of the game. Uh, Pretty much, it's, North Carolina does have the firepower to actually sit at the Maggie's <laughs> close range broad side, so the Maggie can't just sit there perfectly angled against that anymore. You used to be able to get away with that. The Amagis, realistically speaking, their AT really isn't that different. At long range, the Amagis' accuracy and the throw weight is superior. At, at medium ranges, the North Carolina's USM dispersion pattern kicks in and makes it much more accurate and can get those hits in. How did you Bob, see our Amagi, by the way? Yeah, let's see. Ichiban got it. And there you go. The destroyers are now spotting each other. Oh, hello. Ichiban's going with immediate torpedoes to counter the Gadja, but the Gadja has the long smoke uh, deployment, so he Yeah, he's just gonna... Easy. he's he's making a smoke bubble for the Fiji. Fiji's popped the Hydro on the not safe for work side, and the Mada's reasonably safe because of the Hydro of the Fiji, and he's just... you know, he's basically yeah. making a tunnel. Yeah, now we see the torps, that's... Yep, here's the torps, <coughs> and Gadja gets revealed. Oh. Here comes the second set. That is, in fact, a Peter Reload Booster. Here comes some battleship AP. That's a third of his health, half his HP gone. Oh man! Or absolutely nothing because I'm just gonna spot all the torps and none of them are gonna hit. Oh man! And then this here's here's the thing though, right? Oh, the Shrats is up again because the Gadash Mada went out of smoke. He's gonna take another. Oh, yep, another Fiji is. 
I mean, yeah, that was that he's winning this trade. All he needs to do is just to bleed down the uh, shit up. Yeah, and you just, just wait, fight. right? And then the Fiji's used his parts, so he's used his hydro, but the hydro and the Fiji there was invaluable. It's providing all that information. Uh, the Shiratsu should know that without carriers, everyone's going to be having hydro if they can bring it. So, is Torpedo Reload Booster even that effective in a meta where everyone who can have hydro has it? But remember, it's only a 3v3, it's only a 3v3 and it's only one ship that is basically guaranteed to have hydro. The Destroyer is not guaranteed to have hydro, and the Vanishing mm -hmm. is not guaranteed to have hydro. So at some point in life, there will be a point where you might be able to activate yourself. Well, the thing is, if he's on half health now, now he's just going to be waiting for the you know the consumable to replenish itself but he has to be careful he can't really go too far away from his own teammates or kind of support you can't be in the open and get caught by the gadash mana i mean a full health shiratsu versus a full health gadash mana is is that a close battle if it was a gunfight well the issue here with the shield see you is the fact that it only gets like i mean you can say it gets two gun at the back but uh, it, the firepower isn't that good compared to say uh, akatsuki or uh, kubuki or you know, these kind of sh the um the uh, to tokugata uh, not uh, fucking yeah it is a tokugata isn't it the special type destroyers the japanese kubuki types the yeah. issue here is that you know you have less shell eating armor at the back you have fewer gun turrets that eat damage from behind did the flint japanese... take any damage because he just got fired into them in the nope. smoke okay he got straddled so the flint is uh, opening up on the Amagi, so I'm guessing the Shrats is possibly spotting the Amagi, or maybe it's the Encal. It's the, the North Cal. Yeah. It's a, but that might change. No, no. Amagi's going forwards and giving poor angle to the North Carolina, so the North Carolina Ooh. could get a flap in here if he gets lucky. That's a full broadside. Yep, here comes the AP Salvo right now from both sides on each other. Yeah, and the Amagi's turning out, which is about the worst it could be. He's trying to perfectly angle. Oh, he got. He got, I mean, he that's was hurt, much. but... That's not much. That's no, he, he got lucky. I mean, he took some, but not what it could have been. The thing is, though, I think Imagi realized that he needs to stop his full away turn to stop his armor angling from becoming... actually exposing his citadel. So he actually intentionally stopped broadside there to try to get the perfectly angled trip away, uh, and it worked. He got a bit lucky there. <clears throat> well, they got Bravo. Flint has Alpha. Charlie from the Gadaj Mada now rotates in, so... The not safe for work has a double cap advantage. They're behind islands. Come at me, bro. Enkel of Kenzo is below half, so he's been bled. The Shiratsu is at half. The only ship at full health right now is the Flint, using his part trick of uh, firing from smoke and or behind island. Yeah, Ooh! Well, your Amagi is about to Shiratsu just got a torp on the Amagi. Yep, but it goes to flood. this torpedo reload booster is wasted. Oh, uh, right yeah. about now you'll see them all harmlessly passing in front. Yeah, well, he needs to back off because the Mara now knows where the torps are coming from. And he's going to try and chase down the Shiratsu. I mean, for th for what the Shiratsu just did, uh, he is really isolated if he gets spotted. Yep, but he at least can just tail it. And again, the thing is, the, the single torp hit, though, for the Maggie, okay, it wasn't game ending, is essentially balanced the BB healths out. They're both now at half. The question is the heal potential, though. I uh, so the Amagi's got a sticky point. fire. Yeah, there's a sticky fire on the Amagi, though, because he damaged on the flooding. And the Flint is still firing from stealth. He's still <laughs> being really annoying. <laughs> he's actually moved up quite aggressive. Yep, he's almost a beat. Oh, wow, he's, yeah, he's really close. And the whole time, we have not seen the Flint since Alpha. This is really tilting on the Amagi. The Amagi's down to 23k. And this is the Shiratsu still proxy spotting the Amagi, I presume. Yeah, he's still spotting, but the thing is... Ooh, and there's more torpedoes. Oh, there he is. Up. He's seen. Fiji must have just spotted him. Uh, and here yeah. comes the return salvo from the Amagi. He saw it just for a split second. Ooh, and the Fiji... The flint is poorly angled, so he takes a... Was well, that a BB away. shot on the Fiji? Oh, wow, yeah. I see that. Another rear turret incoming? Not miss. And more torps from the... Missed, yeah, they missed. Amagi makes the uh, correct turn away. I mean, the Amagi dodging those torps is really down to chance and trying to figure out, like, okay, I've been sitting here for a while. Well, this game is flipped round. I mean, the Amagi had a huge health advantage over the Encal, but now that good work from the Flint, he got the A cap, he didn't join the team. There's a big health advantage. Well, I say big, there's like a 12, 13k advantage of health on the Encal now. Uh, and they're still and being the harassed. Fiji is now spotted by the Flint. Because he is now 
was temporarily in Hydra range, but I think the Flint's gonna quit the island, so he will get away. The Amagi is healing, alright, so he's doing another heal, and he's bowing up back to 27k. He's gonna rotate around the island with the Gadash Mada, so the Amagi might have the ability to start firing in on the Enkal. The bee's contested, is that the Shiratsu doing that, or the Flint? No, oh, that's the Flint, and there's oh, okay. North Carolina in there. Where's the Shiratsu right now? Still, he's coming back towards B. he's just away from the North Cal, so the, Mar the Gaja is not gonna have a good time chasing that. Okay. But the issue here is the Flynn, if he's cheeky, he's able to uh, spot the 5.5 to dump the smoke firing. Pen. Oh, Torps on the Gadash Matter? No, threads him. Okay. Ooh, okay, that means that uh, the, the Amagi will see them though. There's two sets coming in now. Well, all four sets of torpedoes are coming from the uh, from each uh, gun. I'm not sure the Flint smoke cloud is in a good location. Okay, so it's the fine. NCAL is full broadside to the uh, Amagi. If they come round to each other. It's close. But the thing is, though, the Amagi can't effectively turn in the chase because he's about to run into a bunch of torpedoes. No, oh, second down. wave. I think one of them might even connect. I don't think he's connecting any. Oh, uh, no, he threads it. Oh, it's close, but he threads it, yeah. It wasn't that close, but the key, the key thing here is, though, one, Ooh. it makes him turn broadside, AP. and two, <sighs> it delays him. Yeah, that the... the North Cal gets around the corner. Threads him, yeah, the NCAL gets a free shot, escapes, as you say, down to 17k, so, again, the NCAL goes back into a health advantage. If, as long as the Shiratsu keeps spotting the Amagi and the Fiji, which I presume is what he's doing right now, he then, oh, man, then the Flint is gonna have a field day on the Amagi right now. Yep, and um, where is your gotcha? Is, is and Maggie's he healing. Now? If I was the Fiji right now from Lucky Smoker, I would smoke up. Give the uh, Maggie a kind of a line of... I mean, he's already oh, fired. Penalty, so. Yeah. Oh man, he took another BB salvo. The the stealth. Uh, the sm yeah. So the Fiji's now smoking up. He's still gonna have to wait out twenty seconds though. He's used probably one of his last heals in nine k. There is a huge problem with that smoke screen though. One. It's, it's not, not on him. The Amagi, because Does the Shratsu still see him? No, 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 not anymore. But two, okay. the Fiji is now spotted because it definitely won't come again. Uh, well, the man is doing torps into the gap with the Encal is. Oh my God! Uh, this is it was going well for not safe work, but now I tell you what, the flint play from Johan here for three Q one is really strong. He's just using it well. He absolutely is making a pain out of himself. The Gadia yeah, finally gets. Oh fired. yeah, now he's now he's Flint. taking a. Oh my God, look at this, just chumping the damage. Oh, and another Shiratsu torpedo like the tor. Oh, I think he's going to get him. Did he? Did he clip? No, him? he ran out. Oh, the Amagi ran out. And the the Enkel, he's safe from the deep water torps because he's fine. He knows the double has been used, so the Flint doesn't have to worry about deep water torps. The Shiratsu got caught at the beginning in terms of health but ever since then he's done a really good job at keeping the ship spotted and he's done a really good job at just doing torps not necessarily to get the game winning kill but to do positional play to give the bb and the flint fire yeah, and he's made an insane nuisance of himself sure he, he only got i think one torpedo hit and a couple of pokes in maybe on the gatsumada but the important thing is like the torpedoes on the amagi coming around the corner delay oh, him oh here goes the fiji goodbye good night Oh, he just gets nope. away with that. But he's already, yeah, but the thing is, he's already done his torps, the Fiji. He's nowhere near the island. The Amagi did not go around the corner to assist. He's going forwards in the smoke, so the Fiji will die to a follow-up. There's just no escape to this. Mm, 2,000 more. Nope, two other pens is, is a guaranteed kill at this point, but he should have a heal in a few seconds if he still has a consumable mm, there. Fiji used his, because he was on like 100 and he went up to 6k. Here comes the salvo. Yeah. But that dispersion is trash. Uh, pfft, doesn't matter. It's like, it's like that's all he needs. One hit, done. No, he needed two. He got a full pen. Oh well, there you go. Right, right, right. Well, then the so Maggie's pushing up. He's, I think the Maggie's like probably on his last heal now because he's he's regenerating yeah. again up to 16k. The Flint is never going to let him see him. Well, he's now goes stealth again, so we can't see the Flint. And if the Flint's smart, you just back away, keeping the island and you know between. The Mada's gone for Alpha. I'm not sure I like the fact that the Mada is splitting from the team. Maybe because they feel like they need to stall cap points because they're on 800 points and two minutes to go. But even if you grab Alpha and stall Bravo, you don't catch up. I don't think. No, because the Shiatsuyu is just gonna say, alright, you can have A, I'm not, I'm gonna launch my torpedoes, because I can still be useful this way, and I'm just, I'm going to park myself Oh, and see. the Flint smoked up to give himself a line of sight on the Amagi, and he's now chumping into him. What's spotting the Amagi from your team? Is it the yeah, Shiratsu? Oh my god, that's they such an effective the team. Is. They know where the Gajamara is. The so they don't have to worry it. about it. Oh. 
I mean, just to be safe, the Flint's popped his Hydro, but uh, he didn't need it. Uh, blind fire into the smoke. Yeah, but the Flint, the Yamagi's <sighs> accuracy isn't that good anymore. Oh my god. Yeah, this this is this is like the uh, yeah the Shratsu torps come in forces. If the Maggie had gone in the direction he was going, he may or may not have clipped the torp. But he's turning away and. Me too. I think the North Carolina is coming. Into Flint the is a monster, man. If and that's well done. That was definitely a very good play by the Flint, and I think the North Carolina is coming in to yoink the kill right yeah, now. Yeah, he's gonna shoot him in the ass. This is it. Uh, I think. Oh, it's angled. No, nope, it's enough. So the Gadash Mada grabs A, they've got uh, A, B, oh, and the C is now going yeah. through for the, yeah, the Shiratsu, I, uh, <laughs> what's the Gadash Mada going to do? He cannot fight the Flint, and the fact is they don't even need to be that too concerned now. There's a minute and a half, there won't be a fight, the Gadash Mada is too far away. I mean, let's remember, there was a moment there when Not Safe for Work had a huge health advantage over the Enkau. The Flint was out of the battle, and in the Shiratsu was on half health from the beginning, it, it looked like a really good spot for not safe for work, but the sh the Shira Flint play spotting, smoking, and heing just harassed the crap out of the uh, Maggie. Indeed, oh, and the Gajimada's in the cap, so he's pretty much safe. They know where he is. I'm here. You know, oh, I... Flint says hi. Oh uh, no, he catches. He gets unfortunate and catches the Flint first, or should we say, gets caught by the Flint. So yeah, you're you're not gonna get the torch. He might you're get. No, he might. It's three kilometers. Oh no, he's broadside on the flint. I know the Encal as well. Somehow completely misses at that range. I mean, if the Gadash has like RPF, do you just try and hunt down the Shira? Because you have that health advantage, do you try and hunt him and then just force him? Because uh, the Shira is what won them the game there. If Flint smokes up, Encal's behind an island, it all means nothing. What matters is the Shiratsu constantly giving uh, sight to his team. In this case, you really have a couple of options. The, you know that the Shiratsu, if you think, you know, you think doubly about it, the Shiratsu is going to run. He's going to try to stay as long as possible, he's going to keep running, and he's going to try to bait you into a position you don't want to be in. So at this point, it's a west-east split. But... You have the health advantage. Let's just assume the torpedoes don't come in, and the Amagi is much better at defending compared to the enemy team, who has a worse time pushing. So he could have tried the counter leverage of flying against his opponents, and that, that would have been the other option. But what it felt like was, in this case, the guy Yamada kind of just got stuck between indecisiveness. Do I want to chase him? Well, I can chase him a bit, but then I'm going to head back, and then, you know, just made himself irrelevant while basically permitting the Shiratsuyu to become relevant.